you've always got the opportunity with this of expanding it and that's done nice and easily with this little cover here this is the household's new laptop and it's a Techlast F5 360 it's called 360 for a reason and that reason is when you open it up and it's a full metal body so it's, it's quite well weighted it doesn't fall over or anything it's got pads on the bottom as well so it's quite stable and doesn't push around but when you open it up it's not just a normal laptop it's got a touch screen and everything what you can do is you can turn it 360 so you can use it just as a tablet if you want or if you want to watch something and have the desk clear in front of it you can do it that way or you can pop it back to just using it as a, a normal laptop I'm just going to pop it in I'm just going to pop in the charger as you can see this is fantastic because it's a USB-C port on the side in fact I'll just show you the ports so you've got your USB-C port there you've got your micro HDMI and you've got your uh, micro USB port there. Now, just pop that in. Goes brighter, obviously, because now it's on uh, on power. Right, so let's just have a look on the specs first. Right, okay, so you can see here, it's got eight gigabyte of, uh, eight gigabyte of RAM, and it's got 256 gig of, of storage, uh, running on a 64-bit um, Windows 10 operating system. The screen size is just over 11 inches and it's touch screen so you can open up what you want. Everything's there, everything's working. Not the biggest of screens, however, it's very portable and it does, uh, it does work on the desk. So on this side, we've got the mic, the power button, the volume and the earphone jack socket. Let's just see how it sounds. It's not, not got the biggest and most powerful of speakers, but uh, if we're going to YouTube, let's have a listen to something. So you can hear it, but as I said, it certainly isn't the loudest. This is the USB-C cable that you get with it. There's a big charging block on the end of it, so it really powers it up. There's no problem there. It comes with uh, an American keyboard. And what I mean by that is, on, in the UK, here, you've got your Anfersant. And up here, sorry, here's your Anfersant in the UK. And up here are your quotation marks. On the uh, US board, it's different. There's your Anfersant and there's your quotation marks. Now, when you set this up for uh, Great Britain, that becomes your ampersand. So if you just look up where it says search there. So even though it's got your quotation marks there, when you press shift, it turns into ampersand. So it, there's no issues there. The other thing about this is it's updated itself to the latest Microsoft Windows 10. I think it's version 1909. Uh, there's been no issues with that. Did all that automatically. That's uh, so another good thing about the latest notebooks is so this comes with, as I've already said, 8 gig of RAM, which is fantastic. And it comes with uh, 256 gig of storage, which is superb. And it's SSD storage, so it's, it's quite fast as well. But as you progress and you take more photos and you use up more and more storage, you've always got the opportunity with this of expanding it. And that's done nice and easily. With this little cover here, all you do is unscrew this nice and easily take the screw out take the cover off and inside you will see an m2 storage card which is this and you simply unscrew that there take the card out and you can increase the memory up to uh, up to one terabyte which is fantastic if you ever need to do it it's so easy to do i've done that with a couple of the other uh, devices that we've got just because obviously the more photos you take the more storage you're going to use up and that's quite easy to do and then you just screw it back down and that's it done and dusted there's plenty of uh, 
online videos um, to show you how to do that. Right, so with portability uh, and weight and size, you do get a drawback, and that drawback is, so this is a micro USB PC, and we've been through the ports there. I forgot to mention that you've also got a micro SD card slot there, but what you haven't got is any um, standard USB ports. So you need to go out and buy yourself one of these, and it's basically a USB-C hub. So you've got your USB-C connector at one end there, which goes into it, and then that gives you a HDMI port, two USB ports, a standard SD card port, a micro SD card port, a LAN port, and another micro USB-C port. And the reason for that is, if we open this up again, Right, if we plug this in, that one port gives you all those items, which is fantastic. But with having the USB-C port at the end there, so it's not currently charging. However, when we plug the power connector in there, you can see that it starts charging, which is fantastic. So that gives you all the connectivity that you'll need I'm just going to leave that in for a moment. So with this being uh, an 8 gigabyte RAM, the performance is so much better than any notebook that we've had before. Um, by that, I mean that you can multitask with it. So you can have lots of windows open in Edge. You can have Excel open. You can have all the Office, um, the office apps open. And um, primarily, this is going to be for work. Uh, or for my daughter's homework I should say so we've got the office apps on it and if we go down you can open up Excel opens up nice and quickly and so there's a cash book that I've been working on so you can work on that no problem close Excel down in fact I'll just open that in the background and show you something else in a moment so so we've got Excel running, and I'm also going to open Windows, uh, sorry, Word. Uh, let's have a look at a, one that I've started in that. So again, you, you, you've got a nice big screen, although you see 11.6 inches across, it's a, it's a visible screen. It's full HD, so it's 1080p. Um, and what was I going to show? Yeah, so if we now open... Um, task manager go into more details you might not be able to see this on camera but we're running at 65% memory there with uh, one or two things open in the bottom so all the memory is not taken up we've also got um, Microsoft Edge working and if we watch the expanse which I'm currently watching on Amazon Prime Sorry about the dog in the background there. Uh, so there's Amazon Prime. Your volume's not fantastic. So if you're anything like me, you listen to uh, to video and audio through either wireless or Bluetooth headphones, um, and that way you get to actually listen to what you what you're watching uh, and its quality. You're never going to get speakers that are fantastic on a netbook, so I never worry about that. All right. So the keypad's not backlit. Um, but then again, how many people work in the dark? The touchpad is big. It's not as big as on some of the Macs, but then again, this is a small device. I don't think until you're actually using it that you can you can appreciate just how compact this actually is to say that it's got such a large screen on it. So with my daughter's new laptop, um, it's great, but for me and for anybody that's sat at a desk for a long period of time, the keys, uh, a notebook or a laptop keyboard is not ideal. So what we've done with this is, because it's a 360 and it can turn over like that, and we've got this USB-C hub, we can pop that in and we've got this keyboard. Now, with a wireless receiver there, 
and a rechargeable mouse and a rechargeable keyboard we've now got uh, a mouse that you can use and oops, there they, and a full sized keyboard with obviously the new merit pad there which is fantastic if you are doing anything like excel big recommendation this joy access one uh, for a neg negligible amount of money does an absolutely fantastic job so you've obviously got your number lock etc etc there's a battery warning light on there but having used this for quite a while um i never have a, ba a problem with the battery every now and again i'll just charge it up and it's the same with the mouse you can change the uh, the dpi on it so that you can have it more or less movable so i'll press that press it again and press it again so you can see there that's your full movement press it again that's your full movement press it again and that's your full movement so a really really good dependable keyboard and, uh, and mouse okay so in summary what do i think of this uh well it for the price which was 389 pounds call it 390 pounds it's the fastest notebook that i've had uh primarily because of the memory it's never going to be super fast because it's um it's fanless so it's not going to cool down so it can't work that hard basically i do recommend that you get a, a usb-c hub um and definitely one that will uh, do power through as well um otherwise you're going to lose you're going to lose all your charge at some point with regard to the size of it so i said it's got the 11.6 inch screen across just under 11 inches depth of it roughly just under seven and a half inches and for the thickness i don't know if you'll be able to see this on here but you're looking at 11 millimeters at its thickest point obviously i'm not taking in the uh in the pads there uh but no that is a really really nice bit of kit uh, and as my daughter will say at some point on this video she absolutely loves it